Hello guys, welcome back to Control Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max is stuck on Apple logo screen and how we can fix this app. So whenever you are having this issue, if you are having a logo screen issue, the first one is all about we have to do a force restart on your iPhone. So if you are stuck, you have to do a force restart. For this we have to press volume up followed by volume down and we have to press and hold the power button unless and until we see the Apple logo, just keep pressing over here. So when you press this, you will be able to see the Apple logo. And once you, if you find the Apple logo, the next one is all about, uh, you know, after this, the Apple logo is done, after the force restart, most probably the issue will be completely fixed. It even did work for many users, so you can try this out as the first and foremost step. Once you're done with this one, and if you're still not able to fix this up, the next one is about try updating the software because uh, sometimes the software can fix these kind of issue. So just go over here, give the respect score and once it is done, sorry, let me do it once again, give the respective passcode and once after that, make sure that you're connected to the internet or Wi-Fi or whatever it is. Once you are connected to the Wi-Fi or cellular data, you just need to go over here in the settings. Let me cross check whether it's connected or not. It is connected. So once you're done with this one, you just need to go over here. Now scroll down and navigate to general. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to, sorry, go up here at the top, that is software update. Just update the software to the latest version. So I'm having the iOS 17.0.3. So just update the software. Once it is done, once you update the software, and uh, you know what you need to do is, we just need to update the software to the latest version. And once it is done, we just need to after it is done, we can see whether the issue is solved and most probably once after it uh, doing a force restart and updating the software, the issue will be completely fixed. And this is what you have to do and I hope this will help. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.